testing. Okay. Welcome to the very first episode of a new game. We are going to play Mad Games Tycoon 2 for the very first time. I have not played this game. The furthest I've got, I opened it a few minutes ago just to get the settings for Streamlabs to pick it up. And then I closed the window. I have not played any tutorials. I have not done anything. So this is going to be what I like to call the faffing around episode. I'm going to hope that what I want to do happens. Before I do anything, um, this, this is the playlist, or it should be, that is the Sims playlist, that is, Grape Jelly, well, here. Let's play the intro. This is the intro that I use for when I played The Sims last night. I apologize if this is a little bit loud. Here goes. Welcome to Grape Jelly. Grape Jelly is the story of Norman Bailey Jr. In the 1970s, he will start a video game company in Mad Games Tycoon 2. The Sims 4 will tell his backstory growing up in the 50s and 60s. So there you have it, if you were able to hear that. So I've got two different playlists. I've got the Sims 4 playlist that I linked there in the chat. And then this episode is starting the Mad Games Tycoon 2 playlist which is also linked in the chat for putting the future episodes as well as this one. So I guess all there is to say other than I'll put my computer warning up here because I don't know if my computer can handle this game or not. We're going to have to find out.
And apologies right away, my microphone has issues also. Okay, so I'm going to load this game for the first time. I don't know if it's going to force me to play a tutorial or not. I, I don't know. I'm unsure yet if I'm going to have somebody else be in charge of the company and then they hire Norman or if this is going to be Norman being starting the company and hiring other people we'll find out so here goes Apologize if this turns out to be loud. Okay, testing. Well, that's what happens when you don't open the game and you do it cold on the live stream. You have to deal with these stupid games and their damn loud music. That must be why that does that. All right. So, testing. Okay, so I probably just needed to turn the music off and click this, but it wasn't until I clicked this that it went down. All right. So here we go. 
Um, I don't know if I want to do sandbox yet. That might be later. Uh, so here we go. Is it going to force me to do a tutorial or not? I probably need one. So I'm just going to say it right now, if for some reason I don't like what's going on, I will restart this game. But I have a story I'm trying to do, and we'll see what happens. But You know, I, I'm going to leave that part off. We we know it's... Now, early on... What does Norman like to start with? I don't know yet. Now, a lot of these don't exist yet. You know, skill game, obviously Pac-Man existed back then. Adventure, well, there was a game called Adventure. We're just going to click that. Because it looks like Pac-Man, and... I'm a novice. I'm gonna go easy. Does it let... It does not let me go sooner than 1976, which, you know, fine. Competition, low. What, what is this, you know? Do you mean that they'll shut down forever or just closed on certain days of the week? Oh, well, I really, whatever. Well, here we go. If I don't like it, we'll restart it. Now here's the problem. I want him to be good at a lot of this stuff, but you know, uh Okay, so I've used up all the points. Am I able to, to train him?
Oh, I can choose more than one. Okay, well, he's a star designer. He's talented. Well, he's already the CEO at the moment. Will you get out of here? Why do they got... You know, I go all day with nothing popping up on here. And just they wait till I have a live stream for my phone to tell me I have junk files to clean up. I don't think that thing's popped up in months. Okay, workaholic. Uh, engine expert. I'm going to go on the assumption that people who are watching this probably haven't seen anybody play this game. So. You know, I'm going to try to try to go a little bit slow here and not because, hey, it's my first time playing it, too. Well, considering he's making retro games when they weren't retro. You know, I don't think we need to do that. He he are he is retro. That's that's the whole point of this is that he's a retro dude that made the games way back when. Kind of like that one. You know, imaginative. Imaginative employees constantly have new ideas for sequels. When a sequel is developed, these employees generate higher gameplay points. Leadership. Uh, employees with strong leadership skills give a bonus if they are deployed as lead developer. So the problem is, there's other characters that are going to come along that are like rock star something or other. Like, there'll be a rock star in game design, and they'll be like way up here in the blue on something, or they'll be way up in the blue on this thing, and I might not want to use him. So... That's that's the thing, like, do I want him to be my first character, or do I want to have somebody else, and then the first time I hire somebody that's got the blue thing, change their name to Norman Bailey? Maybe I'll save the game in two different versions. I don't know. You know what? I'm I was thinking about changing his outfit, but you know what? We got the grape jelly, we got the peanut butter toast down here. So it's just a matter of whether I want to change his face or not. I don't think he's going to look like that. Yeah, probably more like that. I mean, he's, you know, the whole military dad and all that. But did he...
don't know. I'll figure it out. I mean, it is the... We're coming out of the hippie times. Um, of course, did he go to Vietnam or not? I forget what age he is. I don't, I don't think he went to Vietnam. But... Maybe he got lucky and didn't get drafted, or I don't know. Or may, or maybe he he stayed behind working in the computer thing with his dad. You know, uh, maybe he went to Vietnam and and he was uh, like handling radars and things like that for for the. Uh, For the fighter pilots. Um, Yeah, there we go. We need some peanut butter. Uh, is there any way to make him not so pot-bellied? Okay, we have two perks left. All right, well, uh, let's do the imaginative and uh, let's do the leadership. So he's got the CEO, he's got the star designer, talented, leadership. Imaginative. And that's probably as close as I'm going to get to uh, whatever I, I think he'll look like when he grows up. Now. Now we pick the thing. There's a Palm Beach Resort. European Manor, Giant Warehouse, Abandoned Bunker, Lagoon City, The Business Park with a Tutorial. Which means I think you start out in this little one and it looks kind of like you're in a garage. I'm not sure. I I, I want to use the bunker, but then again, I want to be able to build something. You know, maybe we could do two different versions at some point. Maybe he starts out. Maybe he starts out making games for people, and then at some point he goes into, you know, doing something for the military. Uh, I, I don't know. Or maybe I'll save the bunker for a different character for another series. I watched, um, Colonel Failure play this. That's really, I watched his playthrough and then I watched a couple others kind of get started on it.
Now, the thing with watching me play this, there won't be any speeding ahead. Uh, I'm not going to be playing off camera, or at least I don't plan to. So, whatever happens in the game, you'll see in the stream. If it takes forever, it takes forever. I may complete the game, I might not. I don't know. We'll see what, what I have time for. Um, I'm gonna leave those. I don't know if I can change these or not. I mean, I I don't know if I can come back and change them later. Is what I'm saying. Now, the thing with the giant warehouse is I can make whatever size rooms I want and make the hallways whatever way I want. Um... I mean, it's basically kind of like a sandbox mode. You know, I mean, but... See, these here, it's kind of like the them hospital games where you fill them up, or, or, the, or the campus game was a two-point campus, two-point hospital. You, you fill up an area, and then you're, like, stuck in that area until you buy the next piece, and these things all get expensive. So it's like, you have to be winning the game to get the next piece, and winning to get the next piece, and winning to get the next piece. And it, it, it may keep me from finishing the story if I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Okay, so assuming I'm going to fail... Mad Games Tycoon 2. Congratulations on the founding of the game studio, Grape Jelly Games. Mad Games Tycoon 2 is a time travel through the history of the gaming industry. Build your own offices, production facilities, and server rooms. Develop the games of your dreams and produce the next-gen console. Rise from a small garage company to a huge corporation. Have fun. Oh, I hate the WAS. I'm not used to using a keyboard to move around like that. So this will be fun. Uh, uh, pause, pause, pause. Okay, pause is down here. Can I sell my car? I want to sell the car. Okay, I can use the mouse to move around. I just, good. <laughs> I, I can, you know, I'm used to playing The Sims, okay? I, I move the camera around like with the mouse. Okay, and then we zoom out the wheel. And then hold the wheel down and we can turn. Kind of like The Sims. So, as far as the story goes, you know, it's like, I have a character from my, from uh, the Stu Spudman series that wanted to get into video gaming closer to present day, 
because Norman Bailey Jr. was an idol of his. And this game that I'm playing is basically deciding, was Norman Bailey Jr. a success at his company? Did he make good games? Or maybe he made good games that publishers didn't want to make, or maybe they would have been good games had they had more time to develop. Um, you know, so if I fail at this, that can still be part of the story. I'm going on the assumption that I'm going to fail playing this. So when we don't fail, that'll be awesome. Okay. Next. Hold down the middle mouse button. Yep, we did that already. As you probably noticed, you need to build a studio in your garage. To earn some extra money, you should first sell your old sports car. But, 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 there's my car. Here, I'll put it over here. Just park it out there. I don't want to sell it. Uh, rotate RF. Okay, I apologize for that noise. That's a little loud. Um, can I go to the options first instead? Okay, this is, uh, the odd thing about this is I have to hold down the right button and then, like, grab at it. Instead of going this way, I have to pull. Where do I want this? I really don't like the idea of blocking the garage door like that, but... But that's what we'll do. Okay, so we start off. How much money do I have? Where where does it say how much money? Okay, I got five. No, I got yeah, five twenty k down there. Now I'm gonna need room for a desk, and then they usually want like like a heat. They have to have a heater or something, so. Let's start with that. 
Well, I gotta put the door on, you dorks. Do I want... It's going to be enough room. I'm going on the assumption that that's not enough room. Okay, so I can't I can't put anything on the outside of the room. All right, well. Damn it, I don't want that. Okay, fine. Well, but see, the thing is, is I, you know, I want to be able to do three by three and pretend this door opens. Fine. Be that way, dorks. Okay, it's shift, not control. Well, I can always make his office bigger later. I just don't like the idea that I'm blocking this door. I don't like it. You know what? I, I okay. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 We gonna Try something a little different. If I put this that means I can have three and three here and three here. So I could have a hallway here even though it's kind of small. Hopefully that, uh, hopefully that works. If not, screw it. You're putting the boss's office right there? Yeah. He's going to work his boss off. Well, who says I have to have? All right, well.
Why, why are you telling me about four workplaces? Because I don't have anything in there yet. I mean, unless you're telling me I can't build the other things. Fine. All right. I got to get on with this. Work desk. I'm going to go on the assumption that I need to fit something else in there. Uh, we're going to start small with They have to have a radiator or, or they complain. They ha have a clock. Lamp. And we need something. Uh, I don't want to spend all that money on this stuff yet. Um, that's an X that doesn't say close. It says deselect. Ah. Lounges and bathrooms. Yeah, well. Guess where those are going? Where? I don't know. And that's why I asked you to guess. Oh, here we go. What do I want to call his first game? Will it be a failure? It's going to be a failure.
Yeah, see, this is the problem. They kind of give you these random things to start with. So you can't just do, like, a story. You have to, like, match your story to what you're given. I believe that's the, uh, the age rating. Base, you know, paintball would be violent, so got to be at least, like, 12 years old. So we have a racing game. Um, a fire department racing game. In other words, this is a really old game, so you basically have a rectangle on a screen trying to get to something with uh, the shape of uh, a house. Name of the game. I believe that was the name of a uh, early '80s TV show. Um, oh, you know, I mean, he probably wouldn't be. We wouldn't know that yet. Uh, now they did have that emergency TV series back then. I would just go with that. Or we just name it something new. Yeah, we'll just keep that. Okay. And then... Now, the thing about this game is they take names of actual... For example, this would be the Apple one, but they call it the Tapple instead. And there's probably something that was, you know, I, I don't remember what, but there's probably something with a similar name. Let's take that. Let's try the one I don't know. Now, okay, yeah, I want all of them. All right. Oh, okay. Well, who cares about anti cheat software then? But I haven't uh, unlocked that yet.
Now, this is where the game gets difficult. Because these sliders are what decide whether or not you make a bomb or not. And you don't, you know, just because, you know, see, Colonel Failure actually makes video games. And he would make things based on what he thought they should be. And a lot of times they would tank. Like, you know, and, and sometimes he'd be just like, okay, well, crank this one up and crank that one down and crank this one up and crank that one down. And it just like, ran, you just all over the place with these things sometimes. And it's like, okay, all right. So I'm going to say right now, I don't know what I'm doing. Now, this is 1976. There's no such thing as core gamers yet. There's no such thing as violent or, or any of that. Now, it's got to be challenging. Gameplay. Graphics we ain't got none yet. Um, we don't have, uh, I mean, the innovation is that we're a brand new game. There ain't nothing, nothing really, uh, freaking. We ain't got steering wheels yet, so. That's what we're going to go with. Uh. Well, they did have controllers. Um, might as well do that. I mean, there was no pause function, you know. I mean, we're, think about this. You go to the arcade, you put in your quarter, you play until you're done. Then you put in another quarter. And it wasn't until like a few years later when they started having those games where, you know, you put a quarter in to continue your turn. You know, like like them, uh, them fighting games, you know, the, the double dragon and whatnot, where it's like, okay, you died. If you want to start from here, you, you put in more quarters or tokens. You know, I'm just going to say this right now. Uh, I'm 48 years old. I I grew up during this era, so so I'm I'm making things based on what I remember. Well, we ain't got no in-app purchases, so.
All right, Norman. Here we go. Oh, he's making bugs. Stop making bugs. Now, the thing about this game is they have weeks of the year, months of the year. You're trying to aim to have your games come out at certain times of the year. Like, in those days, you wanted your game available before Black Friday so that people could buy it for Christmas. And then in this game, there's also apparently, a slowdown window when kids get out of school for the summer. They ain't, they ain't indoors playing the games as much, apparently. Oh, crap. Come on, like, let me, there he is. I want to be able to see him. I want to be able to see him working. He's working hard. Saiga has announced the game Bridge Racer. So our game is about fire engines racing to the fire. Because that's something they could have had. They could have shown a rectangle racing up the screen or across the screen towards a pentagon-shaped house. Okay, you're making a couple too many bugs there, but Norman. I, I realize I didn't pick the uh, the perfection thing, but that's that's okay. We're not supposed to be a perfect game company. Yeah, that's right. You shake that fist, you the bomb. During a spontaneous brainstorming session with your staff, you, you were talking to yourself, some good ideas for your new game were born. The developers immediately got to work and implemented some of these ideas. Well, one of those would be that when you get to the fire, you, you have your, your, uh, your stick figure guy pointing a... Uh, there was a, a game, I forget what it was, I for, well, you had the, the stampede game where you were throwing your, your lasso at the cattle as you rode around, um, oh, I'm thinking of the golf, the, the golf game, you would hold down the button and the golf club would turn and it was like a straight line that would start getting a skew. And then you'd let go and it'd come back and hit the ball. You could we could do something like that that's supposed to be the fire hose. So depending on where you aim the fire hose, the uh the, the line, the pixel line is like bending and Yeah, I just kind of kind of look up, like, if anybody wants to look this up, uh, the old Atari golf game. Kencom has announced the game Blue Mind. Tie 2. Um, yeah, and that's the problem with these. They, they pop up and they go away way too quickly. 
Um, all right, let's do this. All right. The most necessary work on this game has been completed, and it is ready for release. If you want, you can continue working on the game and make improvements. However, in the polishing phase, the work results are reduced and bugs are only slowly removed. Yeah, well, I don't want the bugs. My, my company is not about making the most games. I'm just going to play the game and have fun with it. Data West. That's a new competitor. Emix has announced the game. Chrysor. There. Okay. That's better. That, that. I definitely like that how how slow that was. And I still had the option of closing it. In the beginning you can only publish through a publisher. Later in the game you can make a basically you can make your own publishing room. Um and then based on which publisher you pick, okay, let's see. Blue Mind, Bridge Racer, School days. Oh, the, the real school days game. That was fun. Trying to, trying to not get get in trouble for somebody else spit wadding the teacher. And Panda has announced the game Rainbow World. Come on. Min Tendu has published the game The Demon Hunter Story. Taito has Taito has published the game Normal. That sounds like a crazy game. I I, I wouldn't want to play the normal game. Kid Eucharist. Rupelpa the Rapper. I don't think they had rappers in 1976. I could be wrong. They had candy wrappers. Um, one second here. Let me refresh the chat just in case. Because um, if anybody's been talking and I didn't see it, I apologize. Occasionally, my chat does not show the latest message from somebody. But what you basically see here is kind of how this game goes. You're developing a game and waiting on all this. Then at some point you start building separate rooms to do one's doing the sound, one's doing the graphics, one's doing the publishing. Then you've got your HR room, you've got your marketing. And then like... There. Pause. Then at some point, let's say I had developers here and I had developers here and they were working on separate games. Well, at some point, like let's say this one finishes early, I can click on their thing and tell them to, to, to support. So you'll be seeing a bunch of lines going back and forth like a spider web of who's supporting who to try to make things go faster. like like. Trying to crush the bugs in the game, you could have somebody, you know, helping remove the bugs. So we're in June, the first week of June, 1976.
Hopefully we can get this game done by Christmas time. As far as the publishers go, some are better at certain genres than others. So while you may want to stick with somebody who published your game really well and marketed it really well, you might want to switch because they do a certain kind of game better than the other. And that's, that's kind of the gamble too. You know, there's so much to it. And then later on, it's about, you know, what are you putting your game on? Are you putting it on the older console that's about to go away when they're about to go up all the new ones? Um, oh, yeah, the, the video game thing. Well, we only we only have one game to showcase, so... Yeah. And then doing this, you gain fans by going to the convention. And that helps make your games more popular. Now, by waiting to publish that game, we were able to do this. So, so these fans will be wanting to play this game. That might help us. We got a 47, I believe that's the hype on the game. Okay, he's working on the bugs. There's only 14 now. Oh, what you doing? Oh, phone call? <laughs> freaking old freaking. I, I don't, that's a walkie talkie. What what do you, what do you, what do you say? Oh, I, I want to be able to see what he's saying. All right. Okay, now we're in August. I want to keep an eye on that. I might stop when we get closer to November and, and just go ahead and publish, but... Maybe that's one of the things that Stu liked about him was that he... Maybe they only released one game per year, but they were trying to make it a good one. Maybe he said no to the uh, the studios and all that that were trying to get him to meet a certain deadline. You know, so the famous thing is, I believe it was the whoever made the, the game Yars Revenge and Breakout and all that. They, they hired that person or company to make the game E.T. And I could be wrong about how I'm saying this, but it, it's, but it was something like that where they wanted them to make the E.T. game for the movie. But they had such a deadline on it that the guy made this amazing game but because they ran out of time to make the game with this deadline, the game didn't really work. You get, I'd go to play the game, and I'd get stuck in this pit, and I'm like, how do I get out of this pit? It won't let me out of this pit. Like, I'm sitting there, like, craning E.T.'s neck and trying to fly, and it's like, so yeah, the, the game was broken. You know. Pretty much kind of ruined that guy's career because, you know, 
the game would have been awesome, but... All right, time out. Oh, it does work. The, uh, the, you know, the, the, the comma, greater than, less than keys, they do work. So it's not just RF. How do I pick something up? Well, I need one for... No, it doesn't say male or female. All right. So now we need a lounge. Okay, we can put a window on the lounge.
Will you quit telling me that? I got... I, he's the lead designer. You gotta be careful picking these guys up and stuff. It just... It gets annoying. Okay, that's... We're closing in on the end of October here. Still ten bugs. You can see why I waited until I had some time to play this, because this, this is going to take a while. Okay, that's the end of October. No, 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 continue. All right, I want you to do... Two more weeks. Come on, work on them bugs, Norman. I hope I'm not making a mistake on this. But I probably am. I'm gonna go take a coffee break there, dude. I I I don't blame you.
Hej. All right. Well, middle. Hmm. Okay, have not distributed a game yet. They've distributed one. Well, let's take the underdog. Hey, we got at least 60%. Not bad for our first game. A new exclusive game for Fairtech CF has reached us. Let's see if it's worth buying. The gameplay is simple but addictive. Fun is guaranteed. The graphics will have many imitators, but hardly anyone will come close to this quality. There is nothing negative to say about the sound. However, it is not a masterpiece either. Incredible how precise the game's controls are. Kudos to the programmers. Although my expectations were not quite met, the game is still solid. Gee, maybe, maybe that's my review for Mad Games Tycoon 2. Tit for tat. Okay, um, oh, I could, I can add a description. Interesting. Okay, well. All right, well, uh, Racing. Do I have to pick a main genre? Of course, given the, uh, <laughs> it'd be like Spitwad Shooter or something. Um, what kind of racing game would we have for education? School bus, uh, 
Yeah, you gotta go. Gotta go pick up your kids from the from each house and uh, kind of like kind of like Paper Boy, only you're picking up kids. There's your description. That's all you need to know. We don't have to worry too much about the characters. It doesn't really need a story. You get it, you, you're driving a bus. Oh. Okay. Well, how many of them?
We've sold 2,650. Hey, we're we're number ten. All right, you got more. You got just under a year to get this game done, dude. I believe in you, Norman. You can do it, you lunatic. I made a profit? Or did I? I mean, that says I made a profit there. Wow. Okay. All right. So what are we going to do with that? What is my dude? I got a 40.3. Okay. Okay, Commander Pete. That's uh, probably the Commodore. Astral Arcade. So okay, Norman, you're doing you're doing well. I'm proud of you. Ooh, a sound artist. Okay. Now, he sucks at everything else. We still have primitive sound right now anyway. I don't, do I want to buy this guy early? Because frankly, I'd rather... You know what? No. Who do we have for, uh, that's Jerry. Probably need a researcher. Okay, just calm down a minute here.
Research. Well, two positives outweigh one negative. Do we want two dudes? I mean, research is important. We could make this a bigger room. Get to work. Welcome aboard. Push down. Falco.
Jeez, this is just writing itself. <sighs> At least I think it is. I have to look that up real quick. Uh, All right, never mind. Never mind what I'm doing there. Um, okay, first of all, I don't. I gotta get the game on in my ears because there's a baseball game I'm not hearing right now. So. Uh, Was it Johann Sebastian Bach? Pardon me for a minute while I, uh, Uh, fortunately, they're my researchers, and they're so they're not the sound guys. Okay, yes, Johann Sebastian Bach. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. All right, uh, save now that we uh, got some people. Are we really making all that money? Yeah, we are. We're making a, damn, we're making a killing profit on that game. Okay, um, job market.
Okay, Margaret, you sound good. Ignis. Well, you you're you're similar. Ignis and Margaret. Okay. Okay, so I can't buy that stuff yet, but I can make a development room. Maybe that means, like, if I have eight of them, then it's overcrowded.
Oh yeah, let's, let's uh, definitely have a medicine cabinet. Okay. Uh, let, let's get some more carpets in here. Okay. Now, let's get some people. Now, fortunately, you can't put another door on these things. It's like... Because I'd love to be able to put one back there. Uh, 18 bugs, you're going to continue that for infinity. So, um, they're going to com probably complain that they need a bigger bathroom soon. So, we got a couple of lucky people. One that, uh, So, um, Oh, is this a male or? Oh. Okay, it's a male.
Come on, squash them bugs. Now, of course, if I'm taking forever to do this stuff, then by the time I get three games out there, it'll all be time for the frickin' Nintendo. Now. Darn it, we quit picking stuff up. Okay, we got rid of all the, the bugs. These are our dudes. Oh, not quite 60 this time. High level that. Positive aspect is the very graphics. It does justice to the genre. The sound positively supports the game's atmosphere, but it lacks perfectionism. That's because I didn't give it any sound. I can only say one thing about the controls. Perfect. A solid, but not outstanding game that could have definitely been better. Yeah, if you let me make it better. You don't let me, you know, the sliders don't let me slide that way. Um, you fans are wrong because it was right in the middle. That's, that's fine. I didn't ask for any. Now, what do we have available?
Okay, now we got some other things. Okay. Skill game. Main topic. Pirates. A skill game that's pirates. No. Okay, we got too many skill games right now. A pirate adventure game. Pirates, pirates, pirates.
All right. Wow. That's a lot of money, though. We've made a lot of money on that game. I was not expecting my first game out to be making that kind of money. I mean, I obviously I got it on, like, easy, but not very easy. But it's like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, you know? I mean, I, I know a little bit what to do just by watching a few other play the game, but... Okay, so we've got some topics. Okay, we're in the green. Um, do I want the robot? I might as well put them here because I'm not going to be able to put a rope. Uh, there's not going to be anything anywhere else.
Well, it's too late now. It's too late, baby. Now it's too late. Well, I really did try to make it. Well, you know, it's supposed to be hard. Not too hard, but it's supposed to be hard. I mean, you know, I, I don't have a choice. Okay, we need to have that be closer. Okay, there's the tapple too. Come on, Norman, you're doing okay. Oh, that's right. I, uh, Okay,
You know, as much as I like having this door facing this way, this is making me mad that they have to walk all the way around to get places. So. Ooh, 68%. The very gameplay is fun and offers a few innovations. The graphics will have many in imitators, but hardly anyone will come close to this quality. You can't complain about the sound effects and the nice soundtrack. The game's simple and polished controls set new standards. I didn't have high expectations before the review and was surprised. Still, is it, it is not enough for a hit. Well... You can't, it's hard to get a hit at the beginning. There we go. Are we working on anything? No. All right, I'll be right back. Uh, I'm going to get my coffee warmed up and such. And the questions are in.
Okay. Dog days. Yeah, skill game. Or... Oh, I don't care about that. Do I? That's right. You gotta find your frickin' bit, unbury the bones. We'll go fair tech again. Oh. Okay.
Eh, let's see what happens. Wow. We won't, I don't think we'll quite make uh, a million on that. However, if it keeps going to the, the Christmas window, it might get a, a few bucks added back. Okay, my uh, research. Yeah, let's get some topics, cause I'm gonna run out of, I'm gonna run out of ideas if I don't have enough frickin' topics. Let's see, dot hospital. Yeah, we can come up with something for a hospital. Well, you, you got to hire these. Do I? Do I? What do I already have? Okay, I don't have a graphics person. Really? Come on now. I don't want to hire Sid Meier. I'm not trying to cheat the damn game.
God damn it. No, you're not. No, Sid Meier, get bent. I, God damn it. Because then I have to do, I have to, I have to use them now. I mean, that, that makes the game way too easy. I really didn't want to hire this dude yet. Oh, man, come on. So I can't make a graphics studio yet. There, good enough. Get to work, you punk. Are you, you able? You able to get in there? Here. All right, we ready? No, we we just going with our these are our these are our pals. You know? We going with the underdog. These are our buddies. They ain't let us down yet. Oh, just under the last one. I would have liked to get more points for the gameplay, but the numerous design flaws presented that. The fancy and varied graphics are a real eye-catcher. You can't complain about the sound effects and nice soundtrack, even though I keep not giving it any. The game's simple and polished controls set new standards. The game is certainly not my favorite, but I had fun with it. Well, screw you too, pal. Just kidding. Just kidding. You know, I don't mind it. He didn't hate the game. Or she. Wouldn't know a good game if it bit him. Sure he would. Like, why is this game biting me? Yeah, what kind of, what kind of idiots made a video game that bites people?
Wow, you got the best, like, rooms of all people who have ever played this game. Yeah, I know. I'm awesome at this game. I mean, look, look at the design of these things. So efficient and amazing. Yeah, you're, you're awesome. I know. Nobody has ever... They've, they've never, ever. Okay, there we go. 631,000 bucks for our very first game. We were up to number four. So that's a thousand people per week buying our game. All right. It cost us, what is that, 52 grand to make the game? Tied up, yeah. I'm 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 listening to the ball game while I'm doing this. Um Well, we haven't done a puzzle game yet. Okay. Um Would I rather do something else? Puzzle game hospital. We're a skill game company, damn it. A skill hospital game.
No more tap of one. Oh, how we missed you. A tap of a day keeps us away. Can you give the shot without fainting? Can you do it when the patient's life is on the line? Do it. Hurry up. Stop being such a namby-pamby. Good thing I looked at it. Let's see, uh, October, middle, mid October. Ah, still got bugs. You gonna squash them bugs? Okay, now, now there's nine left. Snakes and apples, huh? Yeah, them snakes sure love that, uh...
There we go. Yeah, for now. Okay, one more bug. Well, I don't know that it's got a rating of 70 yet. Dork. Great, so now you're telling me he's going to give me a rating of 70? Thanks, thanks for letting me know already. Oh, hell yeah. I probably should have done skill game. I don't think this is a... I, I, I click puzzle and then... This is more like Dr. Mario than... Uh, there we go. Right. There we go. One of your... From the press, we... Yeah. Okay. Well. You know what that means? That means we save the game now. Uh, we're not working on anything right now, so... Thieves Hospital we did I Conquest Adventure Um
Well, we certainly got some, uh, you know, topics. I, I work in a grocery store meat department and we have do rock pork chops and do rock bacon. And of course, the Black Forest ham. So, there you have it. Fair tech. And let's go with... Uh, go with these.
Okay, school bus driver is doing well. Okay, that's 92. That's big time. All right, so 92 is our next. Uh... Oh, that's not 920. That's 921. Okay, yeah, we we're we're not there yet. Game of the year. Best soundtrack. We haven't done anything to the darn soundtracks. Now that's probably because we got that dude now. Okay, so let's uh let's take that in here. Of course, I mean we got it's we don't have it on very easy, but we got it on easy. All right, let me get this turned off because the game is over. <laughs> All right. Okay, so that means since I don't need a whatchamacallit over here, uh, What are we able to build? We we need to start building some other things. Um, okay, research dudes. Um, Um, all right, there we go. Yeah, we need some gameplay features, I guess. Or do we want genres? We probably want to do genres because wait no we we need rooms where's our 
How do we research rooms? Or is that after I got them awards? Keep working, dude. Okay, so we missed out on Sid Meier. Boo hoo. All right. No way. Is, are they lucky, meaning they that it's not screwing up? Because you'd think that would be red if they're doing it bad. Because you're saying it's more frequent. You know what? Speaking of which, uh, am I am I able to um, no? Can I can I give them a raise, or are they gonna ask for one? Oh, well. Oh, automate salary negotiations. Okay. Um, so I want this to be more or less.
Well, I'm gonna leave it alone. Um, so bus driver is just about done. Um, I mean, it's getting to a point where it's probably gonna get off sale. We're, uh, we're in the Christmas window here, so some of these games have jumped up again. That's not bad. I mean, hey, we didn't take a loss on it. No, this is our dude right here. Again, telling me the thing, you know, I, I like that you're showing me the achievements and all that, but it spoils the rating. Now I know it's at least 70. Okay, we didn't get quite 80 on this one. Here, a nice story was combined with great gameplay. This graphic is better than reality. Outstanding. The game has a fantastic electronic soundtrack with technically outstanding sound effects. The outstanding controls invite you to experiment. Outstandingly good. Even players who are not interested in the game should check out this game. So you only gave me a 74%, huh? We managed an 82, even with me not putting any effort in. Okay, we're technically still in December, so we might get a good boost on that. Boom. Okay, that's not a very big profit, but we also made a lot of games this year. I, well, I also spent a lot on uh, stuff. And we completed a lot of research. Uh, we bought engines and stuff. We made a million bucks in revenue. I'm not complaining. So that's what, six grand in the first week? Yep. 6,600. Oh, we're gonna need to make a game here, guys. Um... I think it's time we do a, uh, yeah. We'll put this one on here. And they liked it the first time around, so I'm not going to play with it.
Because, you know, gotta haze the rookies. They suck. Stinking rookies. The rookies in their cars. Worldwide banking crisis broken out. All banks... Well, I don't have a loan, so... That's nice. Might as well have that now when I don't have a loan. As far as I know, I don't have a loan. I didn't take one. What are you doing right now? Okay, you're working on B-plus games. Oh, I'm sorry, bud. Alright, squash them bugs. What are what are you mad about? There, have some motivation, y'all. Come on, will you give me a minute here to do some stuff? All righty. Well, it's, well, the, the, the original was like a 60%. This review is about the sequel to Engine 36. We check for you if the newest part of the series is worth it. The complexity of the gameplay does not leave much to be desired. The game is graphically excellent and sets new standards for this genre. The digitized sound effects are great, but most of all, the soundtrack blew me away. <laughs> Incredible how precise the game's controls are. Kudos to the pro programmers. Conclusion, a very fun game. Clear recommendation for genre lovers. Thank you.
Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I just want you to drive them, them fire engines. That's all. You got to get to the fire. It's like, where's the fire? It's where you're going. You're going to find out when you get there. Um, well, we don't have an arcade cabinet, so we don't need that yet. Yeah, have some coffee. There you go. Uh, we we need to make a game. Let's try a spin-off. Um, oh yeah, we did make a skill game. Oh, never mind. That's right, park it in the dairy area. 
driving for a dairy company, don't cry if you spill the milk. It's a racing industrial, or yeah, industrialization game. We've all got our buddies here. We do that as always. Um, Hey, Pi. Um, sorry I missed your message earlier. It wasn't showing. We are on the second, well, now the third year. We This game starts in 1976. We have... We made Engine 36 as our first game because we, we got stuck with making a racing game about a fire department. And it turned out that we made quite a bit of money on that. Um, School Bus Driver was our second game, because we had the topic of education and racing. Um, I think we did, then we had Pets, so I did Digging Up Bones. Let's see, what did, what did we have? A new exclusive game for the Fairtech. Uh, simple but addictive. Fun is guaranteed. The graphics, uh, you know. Blah, 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 blah. So our lowest rated game so far was a 60. That was our first one. And we made a ton of money on it. I think we made like 600 grand. Is that how much we made or is that? Let me look at that again. I don't think it was 600 grand. Uh... Yeah, we, we, we made... 600 grand on, on that first game. Oh, man. Uh, school bus driver. Just got taken off the market. We only made 128 on that one. Um...
Is that one still going? Might be. Yeah, it's still on the market. Watch them bugs. Come on, Norman, you can do it. So let's see, we got we got Norman Bailey Jr. He's our, our first character. Then uh, we hired a couple of researchers and uh, you know, I kind of changed their name a little bit. We we just happen to have Falco and Johan. So So, you know, they just kind of renamed themselves there. They, they, they just happened to be the, the two that were the highest, uh, the, the best skill at the time. And it was Johan something, and it was Falco something else. Too bad they're not the, uh, the music people. Uh, and then this guy just happened to be the the star. Okay, I can't read that. Okay, Josh Joshka Ason. All right, you you need you need a new name. And this was Ignis something or other, so I changed his name. And this was Margaret Charlton. So she's Margie Charmer. Oh, uh, um... We're going some, yeah, let's, let's get some topics. Yeah. Oh. We already got pets, so doing just cats is kind of redundant. Curling. Um, diving. No driving, just diving. Zeppelins. Zoo. Zombie zoo. Do, 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 do. A game about viruses. Wow. Imagine that. Vacation. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We need trucks. Park in the dairy area. You got 14 bugs. Keep going. In the dairy area? Yeah. Earthworm Jimmy. Earthworm Jimmy? We don't do no earthworm Jimmies around here. Y'all y'all just take that one. We don't need y'all. Oh, um, also... The awards. 
Uh, we won in, in in the same year. We won the best graphics for digging up bones, the best soundtrack for digging up bones, and we had game of the year with Legend of the Lost Island a pirate game. You know, so we, we got a pirate game, and then we got a, these are our pet games. We got 8,000 fans, apparently. Okay, we don't have subscribers because we don't have that yet. Well, we don't have worse game or trash, so I don't know. All right. Automatic research topics. Yeah, re finish researching Mafia, dude. Uh, I don't know what we make. Well, of course we want Mafia. You know? Hey, don't be, don't be, uh, pr publishing, uh, competitor games against the ones we got there, middle. We'll cheat on you. We've been using the same publisher over and over again because y'all was the underdog. Now, we made you. You was nothing before us. We could have went with Data West, could have went with them other ones, but no, we gave, we gave. Licenses, huh? Well, I don't think I want to, uh, I, I really don't want to, I don't want to E.T. my company yet. So let's see, we got all these possible publishers now. Yeah, but are you going to cheat on them? No. There we go. Our second hit. A well-told story with few surprises. Well, you're delivering milk for crying out loud. The gameplay was solidly, imp solidly implemented. The extremely impressive graphics make the competition look old. The fantastic sound effects blew me away. Technically at the highest level. The entire editorial team was surprised at the perfection of the controls. A great game with varied challenges. 
not only genre fans will have fun, not only genre fans will have fun with this game. And we're distributing it the last week of April. Just time for Easter, right? No, not quite. A little late for Easter. Uh, Mother's Day? Yeah, mo Mom, can I get the milk game for, for Mother's Day? Uh, how about an update and an add-on? A free update for... For this... Because I haven't done one of those yet. Oh, and you just took it off set. <laughs> oh, well. All right, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Time out, time out. We got... Uh Well Let's see if we can uh, get it there before um, before we take it off sale. There we go. Yeah, that helped. Because of the little chart thing, it went up. All right. Um, updates and add ons for. Um, Yeah, let's do do rock. But before we do, it's coffee time. Because Norman's not the only one that wants to get up and go get a cup of coffee, I see.
Okay, so where do we go from here? Are we just going to keep making games or are we going to make a console? All right, so what that tells me is we need more researchers. But do we want... I think we want a separate research team because one to do the topics and such and then another to do the other stuff, so... Um, okay, I can't do that. Well, that sucks. Um, okay. That's fine. Oh, for crying out loud. Will you let me move the stuff? All right, here. Put the door back over here. All right. Well, you let me grab the damn. Come on, really? Seriously?
Oh, 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 okay, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. They need to be able to get through this door and come around this way. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right. Which means I'm not going to be able to put that thing there like I was going to do. So... How do I just undo what I'm doing anyway? You don't. Well, you don't say. Yeah, we don't say. We don't we don't we don't talk about Fight Club. There, have a lobby chair. I lobbied for another chair. All right. No, 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 no. Whatever the hell you're grabbing, stop. Where'd I get it from?
All right, who can we get who? Well, you're... No, I, I want... I want researchers, unless those are the only three there. Oh, okay, these are the ones that also have some research skills. Okay. Well... Well, I don't care whether you freeze or not. Do your damn job. Okay, well, you're not a developer. You're a researcher. Okay, well, you're... you're You've got skill, but you're stressed all the time, and you're untalented. But you don't go to the toilet. All right, you're hired. Vladimir Leonard. Okay. Um, I'd rather have you than untalented. So. I, I just need, I need staff right now. No, no, not you. All right, get to work, punks.
Okay, uh, y'all, um, ring update. Ring update this one. All right, it's uh, time to make a game. Yeah, well, we're a skill game company, so screw y'all. Um, Yeah, yeah, the the, uh, the sewing fashion game, you know, because, you know, everybody needs a sewing fashion game in uh, 1978. You know, I gotta get started early so we don't have that whole, you know, games are only for boys thing. You know, my, my mom played some Atari. You know, she liked playing her Chopper Command and her, her Chopper Command and, and, and River Raid. And like, you know, we, you know, there's three boys and, and, and mama and uh, you only get two controllers and it's like only some games can you play two people at a time. So, needless to say, uh, you know, there was a lot of weight in your turn. Okay. Well, we can't have a violent sewing game. It's not for core gamers, it's a sewing game. It's a little bit hard. Some gameplay. Screw the sound. Let's see how that does. They're probably gonna they're probably gonna hose me on that review, but Thank <laughs> you. 
Knock a demon hunter story. Okay, well, we gotta move that chair. Because, uh... Yeah, well, make all them noises you want. I still made a hundred grand. Oh, well, I didn't even look at this. I can, I can buy some more room now. There we go. Finish him. Look at, finish him. What the hell are you doing? What are you playing? You playing freaking Mortal Kombat over here or something? Oh, we getting a large boot. We got too many games to not have. Uh... Okay, that's our sequel. Um, that's our hit. And we just started that one, so... There we go. Strategy. All right. All right. So I really want to do that. Well, I'll put the bathroom there, but do I really want to move that? Yeah, for now. You do know then you have to buy another robot, right? Just shut up and do it. Have yourself a little Sputnik robot. See if he can do the job. If he can, I really don't give a crap. Yeah. 
Oh, no, no. Well, actually, uh... Hi. All right. What are you again? You're talented, you're an Inuit, and you're messy, or you don't care about. Well, oh, you are messy, so you don't care about. Yeah, there we go. Larry the Nord. And you'll shoot your eye out. Now get back to work. Y'all can just... Sing, hey now, hey now, don't dream it's over. Why? Because it's a crowded house. Man, what is my... <sighs>
All right, continue, continue development. We're not done with that. Pause. Who we got here? You are a star designer. You air free. You you move fast. Especially when well well you don't have to go to the toilet, so Man, look at well we did make some room, didn't we? Yeah. We could set up a second team. Let's set up a second team so we can make more games. All right. You're hired, Alan. Um, so how many we got right now? We have one graphics, one programmer, a designer, a designer, a designer. We need more programmers and more graphics. Okay. Well. Well, that's kind of poopy right now. Uh. I'm still the lead designer, whether you like it or not, pal. Um, I don't want to fire anybody yet. So don't. I don't know for sure what I want to do yet, so, uh... Let's just get him a work desk. Stop picking stuff. Oh, because it wasn't uh, put down. In the meantime, you don't get to keep your name. You are a star, error-free, sporty, iron bladder. Okay, I need to check something really quick. Uh, I'm going to look away from the chat while I look something up. Because it'll be faster on my phone.
Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, Alan Jumanji, welcome aboard. Okay, so it cost us 90 grand to make. Uh, 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 there's our buddy. We, we, hey, we go. I'm sorry. We're loyal. Okay? We riding our own ponies here. They was there when we needed somebody. Holy crap! See? That's why you make some games that everybody will like. The complex and interesting gameplay is really fun. The impressive and detailed graphics blew me away. Perfect. The beautifully digitized sound effects are among the best on this game system. I can only say one thing about the controls. Perfect. This game will be a hit. Absolutely recommend. Recommended. <sighs> and y'all want to take a break? No? Okay, free update. Uh, find the main rookie. Um, oh yeah, let's do one for this. Even though it's only been a, a little bit. Alright. Alright, um... Well, we're a skill game company. By the way, the uh the RRS80, I believe that used to be the TRS80 from Radio, Radio Shack. You used to call those trash 80s. I I didn't, but you know that's what my brothers used to call them, or or other people. This could trash 80 from Radio Shack. Okay. We'll charge you. We'll charge you that. 
and I want I want that. I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're going to do it. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. Uh. Oh, well, so much for that. Never mind. I have to research that crap then. Okay. The Mad Adventure? Well, why can't you make it happy? Um, what recently got? Our pirate game, our pirate game, uh. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Me. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. You supporting me, pal. Try that crap again. You gonna find yourself kicked out of the butt. Yeah, that's right. Kicked out of the butt. You're going to get kicked out of your own butt. Let's see. Superhero Adventure. Well, technically Popeye would be a superhero, you know, so he's like, he eats something. He's a bit, Popeye and Pac-Man are basically the same thing. So, what could we have that might be of that type? You know, somebody somehow does something, well, the Hulk is kind of like that too, except he gets mad instead of eating. Oh, God, no, don't do that, Robert. Um, yes, yes, we do. We, we, we got, we got, got, okay, we're coming up with that. 
Uh, well, we could do that one too. Um, or they could be that could be the duo. Something duo. Well. Oh man, what was what was what was that dude's name? What who did I? Well, I had the big spider dude, um, the evil spider. Um, Good enough. Oh, well, I don't think I have that money. Okay. 
We've got to. We've got to. Oh, man. Um, do I? Do I want to? You know, I think you can... Eh, I don't, I don't know. No, we're gonna, we're gonna stick with what brought us. You need to automatically do this. You, you just automatically pick all the freaking languages. What, are we gonna pick, uh... Oh, we don't want to do that one. Like, whatever that is. I think that's Russian. But... Okay. A little bit of story. We need some character design. We need some level design. We need some of that. A little bit of that. Crank it up, crank it down. A dirty laundry. Can I? Can can you please let me choose what the hell you're doing there? Cause I, you know, that that really pisses me off. Um, actually, actually, um. You got what you wanted, remember? Yeah, we do. All right. All right. Draw a door. All right. Cabinet. Trash can. Y'all probably need a medicine cabinet over here. Okay. 
Here, I have a clock. You need to know what time it is. Get get your asses back to work. Have a rug. Don't say I never gave y'all anything. Now. Bach. And. Bach and forth. You're all pretty much in the 30s and 40s there, so it doesn't really, uh... Okay, Bach, Bach and Falco, you staying where you're at. Um... And get your arses back to work. Uh, where the hell are you going? Get back in there. You got a freaking break room right here. Happy now? There's some radios, okay? You already got one in there. All right. Y'all stop arguing over everything, too. Life path, huh? Good for you, Katari. You... This belongs to them. You gonna make me do that, huh? 
You gonna make me, huh? All right. Okay. You just you just making me do this, huh? You got no reason to go to this building. This isn't The Sims. You're not going to go all the way upstairs to use a sink that's two feet from you. Oh, not quite a hit. The fresh and challenging gameplay is cool. The graphics are breathtakingly beautiful. The graphic designers could have done a great job here. Or, or, or have done a great job. The game offers crystal clear sound effects and a brilliant soundtrack. Incredible how precise the game controls are. Kudos to the programmers. If you like games like this, this is an absolute must-have. So buy it. Okay, park it in the dairy area is making some money. Engine 36 is making some money. Uh, do rock not so much. Um, Alright. Um, that is his new name. Unlike Mulligan Do Over. Um,
Okay. Apologies to anyone who, who is from whatever city or state I decide on, whether you call yours the DMV or not, because here in Michigan, it's Secretary of State, not DMV, but whatever the hell I decide on, it better be called the DMV, and if it's not, oh well. No, we we don't want to. If we can't go with New York, because that's too close to home. Um, okay, uh, let's just pick one at random here, maybe. Um, in uh, yeah you 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 work in Duluth Minnesota now have 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 fun there big nose Well, you know, if he needs a new ID, you know, he can just make one for himself. Hey, for all we know, he uh, committed vehicular homicide. Or maybe that's what you're trying to avoid is they're trying to run you down with, with their car. Kind of like Frogger. He's like trying to get across the traffic while they're shooting at him. All right, well, now we can use the trash 80. That's right. There we go. Trash 80, here we come. We're going to help you out. We're going to ride the trash 80 until they take it off the market now. Or we until we have to do something else, but oh yeah, we got a we definitely have to have Italian. Oh wait, wait, no, we take away Italian. I think that's Italy. I don't know. Pretty sure Italy's got the green one. Okay, game length. Game length. No beginner friendliness. Story. Lots of story. All right. Now, take one back out of each of these. We're going to have to stick with violent hair. Yeah, there we go. It's a little bit hard. 
uh, graphics. Well, get the hell out of here, sound. Now, eventually, you'll ha you'll be at the point where it's like you're clicking a lot of things and then have to choose to remove a few because you won't be able to have all of them in whatever you know type of game you're making. Like, oh, I want to make an A minus game. Well, okay, but you can't you can't be doing an A game. Or a triple A or whatever they call it. You know, you only get thirty. You're you're trying to do forty. Okay, what was that all about? All right. Ah, uh, if only it was the double. Fourteen bugs. This is not no. Wait, who's uh, who's my uh Okay, lead designer is me. Yeah, okay. Oh, I mean not me, but my dude. Technician, I think that's for building like cabinets, arcade cabinets and such. Oh, man, come on, give me... Or is that... That is a lady? I mean, she got green hair, but... I mean, I can't change that, but... Not that we necessarily need that yet, because you'd have, we have to make a, a a music room for that. Buddy, you need to go outside. Yeah, I think Buddy needs to go outside. Yeah, that's what you're needing. Well, um, let me save the game just in case. Okay. The Doofus Duo. 86.2 user uh, percent on the user reviews.
All right, we, we're crushing it on that one so far. Um, park in the dairy area is really uh, popular. Got up to number three in the charts. Number one for engine 36. Number six for that one. Number four for Fine the Vein Rookie. Gosh, and Norman Bailey sure cranking out some games. Yeah. I'll be right back, y'all. I gotta just wait till I can find out. Go, uh, you want to go do something, and I don't want to do it in here, so. I'll be back. Right quick. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably about the time I just want to do it.
Jesus. Come here. I want you to behave yourself. Please behave. Okay. So, before I do anything else, it's it's uh, time to. Well, we we need we need researchers because this research thing is what's taking forever. So.
Okay, I think we had a desk there at one point, but then we put the radio in there. All right, so that's two new desks I put in, or? I have three, no, two in there. And I have two, four, six in there. Yeah, I don't know where I grabbed this from, but, uh... Oh, it's probably the, the items that were on the wall. Yeah, when you move a wall, they do that stuff. Apparently. Um... Well, all right, Batty, you're hired. Um, okay, that's all of them. You guys are pretty much rattling through those fairly quick. Uh, what y'all doing here? I'm taking a break. Two more bugs. And we are just in time for Christmas here. Black Friday's coming up. There you go. Middle. Don't let me down. It's our first violent game. Yes! The fresh gameplay offers extensive and continuous fun. I immediately fell in love with the graphic style. Never would a game... Never would a game world be rendered in such detail. The fantastic sound effects blew me away, technically at the highest level. Incredible how precise the game's controls are. Kudos to the programmers. A great game. Which is not only recommended for genre fans. Okay, not just for the fans of the genre. Alrighty. Well, yeah, I mean, who knew? You know, Witness Protection at the DMV. I mean, that sounds like a great game. You need a movie to go with it. Heck, uh, you know, if if it weren't for, uh, you know, Rocky and all that, Sylvester Stallone could have done the movie. Free add-on for 
Yeah, let's do another add-on for this, because y'all like this one. Bam! Look at that. Look at that. Five thousand bucks in the first first week. We're only up to twenty one in the chart. All right. Uh, we need to start work out. Well, we don't want to do a sequel to anything that's on the market. That's one of the things about this is you don't want to have a sequel to a game. At the same time that you got another one out, otherwise it like technically like kills the sales of the old one. Well, you know, got Norman, he's got skills. That's why we make skill games. All right, we got us a food game.
Okay, so you're babysitting for the first time ever. Easy money, right? That new thing at the mall is almost in your hands. Just one problem. You have to feed little Billy McIntosh, and his mama said to give him the PB and J. Little Billy ain't having it. There's no other food. Your job is to spread that jelly and get those sandwiches in his pie hole before he throws a big one. Kind of like that old tapper game where you gotta slide the, you know, catch the things and slide the beer on the thing and, you know, something like that. Only you're kind of like a shuffleboard. You're, you're trying to shuffle the, the sandwiches towards the big mouth. You gotta get them in there. That's right, we need all the languages for this one. Well, no sense uh, fussing with a uh, a winning combo. Yes, we got some awards. We got some more awards. <sighs> All right, so what have we gotten so far? Well, we're still not able to buy anything else. Um, Okay, well, we've got
Oh, really? You, you don't say. <laughs> do racking the pork chops. Yep, do racking the pork chops. Okay, well, we ain't got that yet. Uh, out of B. Okay, we got 12 and 13 there. Uh, racing. Okay, we're in the top 10 on there. School bus driver. I think we want to make a uh Yeah, we we need we need a, a we need a new new school bus driver. Soon. We we got we got to make a comeback on that one. So what do I have available here? Uh, That's right, y'all. You, you got this stuff, so you, you, you get to have it in here. There we go. Finish that baby up. No bugs yet. No. Oh, okay, we're still in development, so they're, they're yeah. All right. What y'all doing over here, yeah. Everyday life, huh? So that'd be the Sims. Orcs. Hey, it's the Sims, only it's orcs. You're an orc trying to make your way through life and praying you never have to go into battle. Find the main rookie did real well for us. Parking the dairy area is working good. And our sequel. All right. Ten bugs. We ain't having that. Y'all keep working. 
All right, Duroc and the Pork Chops didn't quite make it there. But we got some big time money coming from the them other ones. Okay, we're uh we're in a hole at the moment. Okay, we went in the we went in the toilet a little bit there, but that's got well that's because I bought the new room. Yeah, real estate. I bought nine nine hundred or whatever. We did a lot of research. Okay, so uh I don't know if I'm gonna have to take a loan out or not. We'll see. This could be the story though. Another hit. Yes, Grape Jelly's a hit. We'll, we'll be making a sequel to that then. Because of the exciting story, I couldn't stop playing. Visually, the game looks like it was developed for their next-gen system. Top. The game offers crystal clear sound effects and a brilliant soundtrack. The, contr the controls could only be better if you could control the game by thought. This game will be a hit. Absolutely recommended. Um, I'm probably about to take a break and uh, I'll do my usual. I'll eat and then start another stream. Because I don't want YouTube cutting me off. So, I'll see you in whatever I'm playing a little later. Thanks for joining in. And you know what? With that, I... Because... We made the grape jelly game. It's a hit. It's on the market. That's a good place to stop this episode. And we'll come back and see if we can turn this money situation around. But the story has begun. It is 1979. Norman Bailey Jr. created a, a game company that was churning out the hits. Some were not so big, and some were really big. Did his company die off when the 80s came? Did other consoles kill him? Will we be able to keep up? We'll find out in the next episode. And I'm literally going to just uh, switch over to Streamlabs here. We're going to switch back to the thumbnail. And uh, thank, thank you to whoever joined in today. Uh, Pi, thanks for joining in. Thanks for the likes. Um, and if anybody has, you know, I'm not an expert at this game or anything, but if anybody ever wants me to, like, you know, look at a specific chart or something, or you know, 
you know, try to figure out how to tell you how to play the game or, you know, use the comments or ask in the chat. Just don't be one of them trolly types because y'all make me nervous. And no, I don't have free copies of the game to give out. Sorry. Thank y'all for joining in, and I'll see you in episode two. Bye 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 for now.